Hello, RIT and TID community. My name is Gail Gonzalez. My name is Ace Gray. Welcome, Welcome back, back to Brick City News. <gasps> what was that? Did you feel that? It must be Halloween soon. Absolutely. Here are some spooky events for the next two weeks. Check it out. RIT Dining's Food Truck Rodeo is back. Enjoy various local food vendors serving eclectic flavors this weekend, starting today. Visit the outdoor registers to purchase meal tickets. Only dining dollars, Tiger Bucks, and credit debit will be accepted. For more information on which food trucks will be there, scan the QR code. Volunteer with the Friends of Washington Grove as they work to remove invasive species and perform basic trail maintenance in Rochester's Old Growth Forest. On October 29th, from 10.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Free transportation will be provided from the Sentinel statue, and you'll be given the opportunity to tour the area with a guide before the trail maintenance begins. For more information and to register, scan the QR code. RIT is partnering with Wegmans to provide on-campus flu vaccine clinics for RIT students on Tuesday, October 31st, and Wednesday, November 1st. From 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Student Alumni Union Building, room 1510-1829. You must bring your insurance card to your appointment. For more information, scan the QR code. Casper the Friendly Ghost is taking over Midnight Oil on Halloween from 7.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. for a spooktacular movie day full of fabulous treats and spooky scenes. Bring your friends and enjoy free Halloween-themed cookies with any purchase while wearing a costume. Trick or treat yourself! Want more information? Scan the QR code. Join us for a Halloween party in the Academic Affairs Suite. LBJ 2850 on Tuesday, October 31st at 10 a.m. Wear your costumes and enjoy donuts, cider, and other treats. What do you get when you cross animals and a group of happy and proud deaf people? Deaf Culture Day at the Zoo! Join us on Saturday, November 4th, as we celebrate deaf culture at Seneca Park Zoo from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. For more information, scan the QR code. Have you gotten an email about a well-being survey this month? The well-being survey has been emailed to all RIT students to complete during the month of October. Your responses are confidential and can help improve well-being services, offerings, programs, and more. Learn about the well-being survey by scanning the QR code. RIT and NTID Performing Arts present Thy Name is Woman, co-created by Jill Bradbury, Department Chair of NTID Performing Arts, Andy Head, Assistant Professor of the School of Performing Arts, and Alexa Scott Flaherty, Visiting Lecturer of the School of Performing Arts. Tickets are on sale now.
There are various show times for ASL between November 9th and 12th on the LBJ first floor street area. Pro-tactile performances for the deafblind community are November 12th. Gail and I are both in the show. Come check it out. Ticket prices vary. Scan the QR code for more information and to purchase tickets. Science, technology, history, oh my. The Rochester Museum and Science Center, RMSC, in collaboration with RIT, NTID, and Rochester School for the Deaf, will be holding a Deaf Culture Day at RMSC on Saturday, November 11th, from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Come meet Deaf scientists, researchers, and professionals in STEM, and enjoy Deaf-owned food vendors and more. Sound exciting to you? Scan the QR code for more information. No Voice Zone is 9 to 10 p.m. every Wednesday in CSD 1300-1310. Come practice ASL with signers of all skill levels. The next meeting is November 1st. Scan the QR code for more information. Thank you for joining us, and we hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Brick City News. We'll see you again in two weeks. Happy Halloween and Go Tigers! Tigers!